What is the best spy knife in TF2? To find that out, I played one casual match with each of the different knives, and whichever knife I could get the most amount of points with would be crowned the best spy knife. Next up, I had to set some rules that I had to follow in this experiment. For this experiment, I thought it only would be fair to use the same pistol and cloak watch for all the different knives. So I chose the Les Rongers and the Invis watch. Now that we have addressed all the rules, we can begin this challenge with the stock knife. Okay, hey man, let me just suicide and get three kills right off the bat. I'm about to get as many points with the stock knife as possible. Come on, man, please don't nobody look. Kill this. Nice little trick step. Start off. Let me kill this scout here. Kill this scout. Come on, man. Let me kill this scout, please. Bonk. Nice. That's a good kill. This guy's gonna shoot me again. It's just this good shoulder, man. He's pretty good. Nice. We got him. Finally. Bro, we finally got him. Oh, that guy's low HP. Oh man. No. Yeah, I paused the video just to give you guys a little heads up before I start screaming like a madman. Oh, that's a pi- What? Fucking just a so good players on this server, bro. I was lucky enough to sweep in a little more points towards the end of the first half. This gave me a lot more motivation going into the second half of the match. Okay, I didn't see anything. But oh, this is three points for me. This is three points for me, bro. Nice. Let's go, bro. That's good. That's very good. Okay, let me get this. Scout. And the pyro. Perfect. Okay, you know what? We still have the opportunity to pop off on offense. I have a pretty good feeling that this challenge will be a lot easier on offense with most of the knives. Except the kunai, maybe. But especially the stock knife, this will be... Pretty damn good on offense. Nice. Like that, that's what I mean. And this engineer, I think that's the engineer who is a little bit NPC kind of vibes. Let me just jump on this little thing here. Oh my god, he didn't hit me with the right here. That's so lucky, bro. That's what I mean. Oh my god, nice. Nope, nope, nope. nope. I'm gonna get this point here. Bro, what, what can I do here, man? I'm just gonna keep on spamming this thing over and over again, I swear, man. Nice, we got it. Perfect. No, we didn't die like this! Yeah, kill the goddamn pyro, bro. And I'm gonna kill you now. You were annoying before. Get this medic. No, wait. Oh, okay. You know what? That's fine. We got a good start to this game. Nothing interesting happened of me on the attacking team. I went back to my old strategy of killing only a handful of enemies each time with nobody paying any attention to the back lines. I finished this game with a score of 67 points. I knew I could have gotten more, but with so many good players on the opposing team, I was satisfied with my score. And this leads us to the next spy knife on the list, which will be this bicycle. Just before the video starts, I would like to let you guys know that I'm doing another giveaway on the channel. This time it is for a green energy convict cap going for around 23 keys on backpack.tf. What you have to do to enter this giveaway is to leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and most importantly, join my Discord server that I will have linked below. Good luck to everyone and enjoy the video. Next up on the list, we have this bicycle. And I don't know if you guys remember the video, but I did manage to get a 30 kill streak with this exact loadout. So that is pretty damn cool. So let's see if we can get some nice good points with this loadout here. Kill this demo eye here. No! Okay, yeah, that was not exactly the start that we hoped for, but we got one kill. That's why I chose Frontier. Whenever you start on offense, you respawn so quickly. Unfortunately, the entire game consisted of me only getting a few backsteps, then dying quickly, because I had no situational awareness. No, this by Russian owl. Yeah, I agree. Fixed here too. Shoot this sniper here. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Bro, my heart just stopped. I didn't think the sniper would hear me, bro. Come on. Nice. Oh my god, it's fine. Still, we still got two kills there. It's pretty good. How many points did we get? I think we got 25 points. Okay, you know what? I'll take it, I'll take it. It's okay, it's okay. With us ending on the offensive side with 25 points, 
All we had to get was at least 43 points in order to beat a score of 67 that we got with the stock knife. And that is of course easier said than done. Nice. That's good, that's good. Getting a little bit more points now. Get this energy here. And this soldier as well. Oh my god, my aim is on point. I can't say anything to that. That was pretty good aim. One. Nice, Pyro. Nice, 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 nice. We are starting to warm a little bit. I gotta keep track of my cloak meter here. Everything here hurt me. Nice. See, this is what the loadout is all about. I, I knew it was a random crit. I, I knew it would be a random crit. I just knew it. That random crit, by the way, thanks a lot, Valve, started a negative domino effect with me getting killed several more times to spyware players, random crits, and me having the worst aim possible. Kill this soldier here. No! Oh, I tried to do it to the next stop! He didn't fall for it. I'm also a spy, but not like on their team. I can't hit. Come on. No! My aim sucks. Let's get this guy to sniper here. <laughs> yeah, I also want to be a sniper, but I don't want to take a rocket through the face. Let me kill this pyro. Nice, we got the kill. And it was a very important kill with the backstab there. We're getting more points like that. No. It's like two random crits in a row. Nice, thank you, Valve. Thank you, Valve. And with all those random crits and miss unfortunate timings, we ended up only getting 55 points with the Spicicle. That means so far we've gotten 67 points with this Dark Knife and 55 points with the Spicicle. For this next knife, I have my hopes up because I know the potential it has. Can you guys guess it? The Big Earner. With the speed that comes with each kill, I have the opportunity to go for plays that I wasn't able to do with the Dark Knife or the Spicicle. This gave me a lot more confidence beginning the match on Barn Blitz. Next up on the list, we have the Big Earner. The Lightning McQueen knife, as I have called my own knife, I think. Oh my god, I chose the wrong one. Oh my god, that's a rookie mistake. There it is. Just give me a minute, guys. Nice. We are ready to destroy now, boys. And it will be easy because we are good at the game. Can I land on it? Oh my god! Imagine me hitting that breast milk step, bro. Would have been nuts. That's already a good start, man. Maybe this is the knife where I actually managed to get some nice kills. This B boost that I got after each backstep helped me out a ton. Firstly, I could go for more backsteps each time. And secondly, this B boost helped me escape dangerous situations. All of this gave me a very good first half to the game. Mm. I should have been dead there 9 times out of 10, bro. Oh my god, please. Stop moving around like an idiot. No, no. He didn't see it, he didn't see it, he didn't see it. Oh my god! Oh, that was the most insane escape ever, bro! <laughs> I just surfed that rocket. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Still fast as fuck, boy. Nice! That was sick, that was sick, that was sick, that was sick. We're finally doing something, boys. We're finally doing something for the team. Nice, 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 nice. With us focusing more on getting backstabs rather than capping the card, we unfortunately didn't cap the third choke point. But hey, look on the positive side. Check out our score. We have already beaten our two previously records of 67 and 55 points. And we haven't even finished the game yet. Please touch the touch card. Nice, we got the both the medics. Come on, touch the card, touch the card, touch the card, man. Come on, please, 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 please. Touch the card! Oh, 70 points, bro. And we're not even on defense yet. This is gonna be amazing. The only annoying thing now about top scoring with 70 points and being defense is that the enemy team is going to be very spy paranoid now and they're gonna be looking for me i feel like but boy was i wrong i started the second half of the match by getting a sweet quadruple kill and that fire heavy gun is not you know very optimal for me to get kills never mind i guess never mind i guess four kills right off the bat on defense bro if that wasn't epic, I don't know what is... <gasps> that was crazy though. We played very good in the second half of the match. With a few back steps and some weird trick steps. Nice little corner step. 
I would like to see. And we are behind everyone again here. How was that a trick step? But I guess we'll take it because that's more points. Very nice. Okay, let me get some chain steps here. Boom! Nice. I'm leaving that soldier. We were able to get a few more backstabs on our opponents. But even with us laying out like crazy, we could not secure the win. But I think it is fine this one time, since the goal was to get as many points as possible in these different matches. And it seems like we are losing this game here. GG's. But on the positive side, we have set a new record with the big earner being on 124 points, which sets this up as the best knife so far. And with us landing a solid 124 points using the big earner, we definitely turned this experiment around. The big earner is now first on 124 points, the stock knife is second with 67 points, and the bicycle is third with 55 points. For the next knife, I chose the eternal reward. I had my hopes up for this knife because I think it is a fun aspect to spy to steal your enemy's identities, but also because of the silent kill that happens if you get a backstab. This of course allows you to go for an incredible place with the Eternal Reward. Guys, of course I had to play with the Eternal Reward on Upward, everyone's favorite map, to try and continue this experiment. Don't hit me, no man, please. I wanna kill this no man here. This medic? Please don't hit me, please, bye. I survived it, I don't know how, but we'll take it, I guess. They're already onto me right now, which is not very good. Let me kill the sniper. Soldier as well. This is a very good start. Oh, that was a spy, man. I didn't think that was a spy. Just gonna jump up here like this. No more cloaking, no more disguise. Please don't hit me. Oh, fine. I don't even know if I kill the pyro or the medic. Besides the decent start we got, and this next clip I'm about to show you, I didn't really manage to do anything too special with the Eternal Reward. It was mostly because my team were capping the courage too fast, but also because of this one annoying spy. Okay, let me just decloak like this. Get this Angie. This demo. This Angie! Holy fuck, what a nice spree. Can we keep on going? We can! Oh my god, that was just four quick kills there already. Pretty damn sick. That's why I love this knife so much, man. We are capping this card a little bit too fast, which is not very optimal. When there's a spy behind me, please. A few moments later. Hello there. What? You killed me again, bro. What? Please, man. And yeah, my team ended up having the last choke point while I was occupied killing the enemy team from behind. I ended up with a score of 38 points and I was not really satisfied. So I had to do extremely well on defense in order to beat the big earner game. We have a lot of live to live up to if we want to beat the big earner uh, knife point game. If we want to get above 100 points, we really got to pop off on defense here. Nobody saw that. Medic, fuck off with the random crits. Just one time my big bro. Oh, we got a sniper dancing on the card, man. We can't have that. Nice, that's perfect. Nobody saw that. Nice. We could call that a two step, I guess. That's fine. Nice, bro. This is very good so far. I can kill these two demos. No, just the one demo, I think. Oh, I see a medic and a... Um, that guy's dead now. I can kill this. He believed me. He believed me, man. That's amazing, bro. That's amazing. I fucked up the train, the best stab on the heavy man. <laughs> oh, it's the same medic who killed me. And honestly, it was looking great. I had already fought my way up to approximately 60 points. The only problem was that the enemy team was also capping the card too quickly, just as my team did when we were on offense. I tried my absolute best to stop the card. So this demo here. The pyro. Nice, we got the sniper there. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill this. Shriek stab. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What is that heavy doing? Come on. 
Please don't cap now, please. Give me a little bit more time. Don't cap, please. No. Fuck, bro. Oh, we almost got it, man. 86 points. I think this puts the eternal reward on second place so far in this experiment. That is definitely right, William. The big earner is still first. Then comes the eternal reward. The stock knife, and lastly, the bicycle. This means there is only one knife left to have a chance at the podium, the kunai. And what can I say, boys? I love this weapon. The fact that you can back up someone and receive 200 health for it makes you an unstoppable force. And that is exactly what we became in the start of this game with me killing multiple opponents at once. Kill this Cholia. And a trickster on that. Oh my god, nice. No, please don't kill me. Heavy, 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 heavy. Chill, 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 chill. Nice. No, please. And that's why I left the kunai. You just have too much HP, like, to, you can't die with this loadout, man. Nice, got the soldier. Let me kill this heavy from above. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to kill him, but uh, I guess we'll take it. Alright, we're already doing quite well, I think. I haven't checked my points. Taking a bit here. I kill this sniper. 22 points so far. Pretty damn sick. With us already having 22 points, this was looking like a great start to the game. But then I started playing not so great. I can't even put the blame on someone else. I just kept dying over and over again. Oh, the demo man with the good unusual killed me. Fuck takes. No! What am I doing? That was stupid, bro. Try and get this Solian mini combo here in a bit. So turn around, don't turn around, please don't turn around. No, he turned around. Of course he turned around, bro. Not gonna lie, I was pretty unmotivated continuing this challenge after dying multiple times in a row without getting a single kill. What I needed was that one clip that would put me right back into the game. Okay, let's just pause the video for a sec. Now this clip wasn't necessarily that good by me, but I included it in this video because I thought it was hella cool with the soldier jumping at me. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Okay, that was kind of sick. I didn't know that so let you would do that. With that out of my three-year-old system, I can now show you the clip I was talking about. We kill this sniper here. Just before the... No, wait, never mind. We actually... That's nice. Perfect. I can get a lot of kills here if, if, if I don't fuck up. Never mind, they turn around. That's bad. I turn around. Oh my god, I have an idea now. I'm gonna jump from up here to the cart. Come on, give me a soldier. Treat nice. Sad. Oh my god, we're doing well right now. Ouch, man. And only because of my insanely good spy skills, we managed to defend the enemy team from carrying the last choke point. Come on, bro. Can we just kill everything I can with the points? Okay. 89 points on the first half of the game. That is insanely good, bro. Going on to the second half of the match, I was really happy because all I needed to get was only 35 points in order to beat our big earner game, where we got 124 points. We started off the second half with some pretty decent multi backsteps that would put us closer to the end goal. Kill this sniper here. And this, um, nice. This sword as well. Kill this sentry gun here. Nice. Ah, nice, he didn't hit me with the Jirate, man. Let's go, that's so good. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, I have an idea here. It's gonna be amazing! Nice, bro! Oh my god, bro. 110 points already, bro. Incredible. I was only 15 points away from completing the challenge, and with almost 8 minutes left to cap the last choke point, I honestly couldn't see what could go wrong. The only thing that could stop me was if there was an incredible good player on the opposing team, who in some way had to destroy me over and over again. I said, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. How was that a backstab? What? No, 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 no. What? Why would he do that? And I got killed by the same spy. Never say never. And you, my dear.
but then after a couple of rounds, I managed to revenge myself on Andrew and completed the challenge without a single sweat. Just kill this man here. Please. Please, please, please. Please let me kill this. Break, stop! No, 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 no. We got him. We got Andrew. We got Andrew. That's nice. 137 points, guys. What do you know? The kunai is the best knife there is. I'm gonna camp a little bit here, I feel like. It's gonna be fun. Come on. Nice. <gasps> oh my god, he didn't hit me with that. I'm so glad. And it looks like we're winning this game, boys. Oh my fucking god. 144 points. 65 kills and 17 deaths.